I'm Mark Stevens. Uh, the radio show is the No State Project at uh, markstevens.net. That's, uh, that's it, right? Yeah, markstevens.net. And uh, we've got a bit more evidence here. Uh, that's what we do on the No State Project. We deal with evidence, verifiable evidence, and not conjecture and sacred writ, things like this. So uh, Adam, uh, who's been on the show before, has had uh, a number of traffic tickets thrown out that you can see on the website also. I had another one thrown out in all of all places, California. We know how tough that they are. So I want to congratulate him and go through some of the details here. So let me just get the evidence here. So what we have is a notice of parking violation from the California Department of Parks and Recreation and uh, $71. But we're not interested. It, what's important here are the issues that are raised and to also look at critics who think that I'm a, sh uh, I'm a con man. I've never done anything to help anyone get something thrown out. And then, of course, if they'll just marginal. Ah, well, it's just try The issues are what important, and it, are, it is the issues that are the target of the disdain and derision and the personal attacks against myself as being a con man that I have nothing of any merit and uh, I've never helped anybody. So we, uh, it's a notice of parking violation, and it was issued by an A. Perry, badge number 879, to uh, Adam. And Adam filed uh, the motion to dismiss that I have available. It's based on lack of standing, that the Constitution and code are not applicable, present, there's no presence within the state, and there's no valid course of action, and there's no true adversary. Uh, you can see part of here, a plaintiff must have, uh, a plain, to have standing, a plaintiff must allege the violation of a legal right. Uh, standing is required. I know you can't see it here because uh, standing is required because courts only adjudicate justiciable controversies at the United States First Interstate Commerce Commission. And... Uh, we go down here, the request for violation review, and let's see, we'll go down to the actual evidence. That's right, it was dismissed. I can't make out this, I have no idea. I, I don't know what this means, but it was dismissed on uh, December, right after Christmas, so it's a nice, uh, le you know, uh, belated Christmas gift. So uh, we see that it is a request for violation review, California State Parks, and it was dismissed. So... Uh, again, it's a, it's a big congratulations to, to Adam for not just laying down and giving in to these predators. But I just want to just cover a little bit here you know, on my website, The Standing Cross Reference. These are not my ideas. All I'm doing really is quoting directly from the predators, the, the parasites who call themselves government that uh, we have here that uh, the basis of a court's jurisdiction, at least in America, the United States, is uh, like governments are established to protect and maintain individual rights. The link is right there, and you can independently verify this. We have the Declaration of Independence that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men to secure these rights. So what we have is a very simple, logical progression here that you can follow because uh, this is not something that you typically will get with the lawyers or the state apologists wonder, well, standing, uh, that doesn't apply to the government. That, that, you know, okay. Yo, big, yeah, but y y you'll notice there's, there's no exception. When you go through all these for Arkansas and then you've got Alaska, you got Arizona, yeah, you, there, there's, no, there's no exception. And they'll never find you where even in their own sacred writ, that, oh, there's an exception if a government brings it. Uh, but the logical progression is, one, the government was established and instituted for one purpose, to protect or sec to secure and protect rights. The courts, being a part of the government, have the same singular purpose, to pr secure or protect rights. The court jurisdiction has one purpose, to secure and protect rights. Standing to invoke or invoking a court's jurisdiction requires the allegation of a right uh, uh, that has been violated. So if we go down uh, through here, uh, it, it's the same no matter where you go. Uh, there has to be a valid cause of action. It's just that the critics uh, and, and people who just want to be trolls, they think, oh, we're going to give a free pass to people called government. Well, I, I don't believe in doing that. Anyway, I want to congratulate, again, Adam for uh, standing up to these parasites and not just giving in. And uh, stick, uh, stick around and, and, and check out uh, uh, markstevens.net. We'll be posting regular evidence and, and uh, documentation to show that uh, there is merit to standing up to these people based on lack of standing, lack of cause of action, no adversary, no true adversary, and of course, that there's no evidence their constitution and code is applicable. And we'll be posting that on a regular basis at markstevens.net. You can also call into the show if you have any disagreement with what is presented here. We're live every Saturday from 4 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can, the number, 218-632-9399.